Question 13. Now, don't overcomplicate this. We need to make you the subject and you as part of this term here. So we need to undo this term. Now, undo the whole of the term, all right? So don't you, how do you undo an adding of kt squared? Well, we just minus kt squared. So we get d minus kt squared equals ut. So we're nearly there and just one with one adjustment. So we need to undo this timesing by t by dividing by t. So we get u equaling d minus kt squared all over t. Question 14. Now this is quite difficult, okay? Well, part A, you're just literally substituting in. So just substitute in the values and then round to three significant figures, you get 1.79. Now for part B, we really need to do the rearrangement first, I think, before we substitute in. So we start off by undoing the, the square root by squaring. So we get y squared equals everything underneath the square roots. Then we undo the dividing by r minus t, t sin x by multiplying both sides by r minus t sin x. So we've got y squared mu multiplied by this. This undoes the denominator on the right. We then get rid of the bracket by doing the claw. So we get r y t squared minus t y squared sin x equaling the right hand side. We then adjust to get everything with an r onto one side, the left, and everything without an r onto the other. So I've minus r and added ty squared sin x all in one go there to get to here. I was running out of space. Now everything on the left includes an r, everything on the right excludes an r. So I can now factorize. So r open bracket y squared minus 1 equals the right hand side and then finally I can undo this multiplying by y squared minus 1 so isolating r making r the subject. At that point, I've then substituted in my three values to work out what R was, 25 over 3. Question 15. So, not too bad. I don't think it's as bad as it looks, really. We've got to work out the value of A. So, I would just make A the subject. So, uh, this is the only term with A in it. So, just take everything else to the other side. So, take away 2R and take away pi r. So p minus pi r minus 2r equals 2a, then divide by 2, giving us a equaling this, substituting the values that we've been given, round to three significant figures, and we get 24.8. Now for part b, again, not a particularly difficult one, we've got to make r, the, oh, actually it is quite difficult, we've got a couple of r's, make r the subject. So let's start off by taking away 2a, that straight away leaves all the terms with R on the right, all the terms without an R on the left. We can then factorize the right hand side and divide by pi plus two to give us R equals pi minus two, P minus two A all over pi plus two.